In this lesson we take a look at Carly Simons coming around again. Another hit from the 80s, 86 I believe I remember it very well and one of her big hits throughout her fabulous career there. So what it is, what we have, is a song in the key of C, at least it uh, starts out that way. And then the progression is actually really easy, going from chord 1, C major, to chord 6, A minor, to chord 4, F major as a big bar chord, or maybe as a little one, it works pretty well down there, and then back to 1. And then in the chorus, the part of um, I know nothing stays the same, there it all of a sudden changes to F, so now that is chord 1. It moves to, same progression, to chord 6, which is in that key D minor, and then chord 4, B flat or up here, and back to 1. So quite a bit of the song is in this key. The bridge is definitely challenging, i show you uh, in, uh, in a sec. But first, what is nice of course, the intro, it has this uh, little those notes going through it, as in uh, the, the keyboards are playing those, and it's really like the D here, the third fret of the second string, the B on the same string, I'm sorry, the C on the same string, first fret, and the open string, and that is basically it. So on the guitar, you can actually incorporate it really, well, nicely, but it does require quite a bit from the, well, accurate strumming, and timing-wise, it's it could be a little challenging uh, there too, but it will sound then like this, something like this. Anyway, but now you get this part, the bridge, the don't mind if I fall apart. I will tell you about it now, as in uh, which chords are appearing in there. This is F major, because you were returning to chord 1. But then you have like an F with an E flat in the bass. I compromised there a little, like uh, fretting an E flat shape, but reaching out for this note. Like so. So it goes from that one and then to really E flat, then still the same chord with a C in the bass, then the chord drops down a half step to D, still with a C in the bass, kill the fifth string uh, by the way, then it moves down to F with an A in the bass and down to C with an E in the bass. Those last two chords, of course, you can play it down here as well, but this is definitely... Uh, So, I show you all this, of course, in detail. So, uh, as for the strumming, you could go for a, you know, this is double time, something like down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, and so on. Of course, you can do more than that, but it could be a starting point, so I do break down what I'm doing here. Of course, I break down uh, how those notes are in there, and also this little part, which is quite, uh, could be timing wise quite challenging, but you definitely hear the keyboard play that. This high G there on top, and it skips in every beat, it skips like a 16th uh, note, but okay. So, and then if you, and then the song indeed just moves on with uh, the key of F and it simply moves from 1 to 6 to 4 and back to 1 and you actually end it there as well. So we break all this down and then you should 
have it. So, of course, you can totally skip all those notes. Let's uh, a keyboard player uh, do so. You really don't have to do it. But if you're on your own, it might be nice to uh, to get it in there. Anyway, you can check it out now at totallyguitars.com, and uh, I hope you like it.